Hey planner friends, Ashley here. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to set priorities and I'm gonna go over three steps to setting priorities and effectively planning your day. But before we dive in, I wanna talk about this planning loop that we all tend to get in. So what we do is we over plan our day, right? We have these giant to-do lists, all these things that we're trying to accomplish, which then causes us to be overwhelmed. And I don't know about you, but like when I'm overwhelmed, I don't want to be productive. Actually, I want to take a nap when I feel like I have a lot of things to do that doesn't motivate me. It doesn't inspire me. It doesn't encourage me to get up and to get started. It actually paralyzes me. And if you're anything like me, it does the exact same thing to you, which then causes us to be unproductive. Well, when we're unproductive, our to-do list just gets longer and longer and longer, which then causes more overwhelm. And so we end up in this like negative planning loop of not getting things done and just being unproductive and feeling bad, feeling guilty. And we continue to have these extremely long to-do lists. So this is my goal is to help you get out of this negative planning loop, to start setting priorities, to start effectively planning your day. It's going to take 10 to 15 minutes either each day or each night. We'll talk about that in just a minute, but it's not going to take very long but it will make a huge impact on your productivity. So let's go ahead and dive in. Step number one is to brain dump. So what you're gonna do here is make a list of everything, everything you wanna accomplish for the day. Now, you're just gonna write down anything and everything that comes to your mind. This is a no judgment zone. It's not the time to decide whether or not you're gonna do that today or next week. Like. Just jot it all down, get it out of your brain and onto a piece of paper. Now the thing with this list is most of, most of the things on this list are not going to be your priorities. They are things you would like to get done, but you don't have to. So just keep that in mind. Step two is to get picky. This is where we're going to start picking out the most important tasks on our list. We're not setting the priorities yet, but we are starting to look over that and starting to choose those. These are things that are going to help you move forward with your goals, all right? It's not the laundry, it's not the dishes, anything like that. As you can see with this happy camper, when you start to priority plan, it helps you accomplish more and it's gonna help you be more productive, which is what we all want, right? Like he's stoked, I'm stoked. But listen, I don't want you to get stressed out and focused on picking the perfect tasks for the day. Because the more you do this, the better you're gonna get at it. The faster you're gonna get, the more that you're gonna start realizing what your priorities actually are and what's important to you and what's going to help you accomplish your goals. Step three is to pick three or five priorities that you're going to focus on for the day. Here's a couple of questions you can ask yourself that's gonna help you choose those priorities. So number one is, if I only accomplish three to five things today, what are the most important things? Like, what would I choose from this list? But this other one that I really like is if I could wave a magic wand and three tasks would be off my list, what would they be? Now, the reason why I like that question the most is these are typically the tasks that we are procrastinating on. These are the ones that we keep putting on the back burner, but they keep taking up space in our mind and they keep stressing us out and aggravating us because it's not finished yet. So sometimes if you just think about like, what task could I immediately take off this list and knock out today so you know it's not stressful to me anymore, that might be a place for you to start. And it's okay to come back and ask yourself these questions over and over again, even every single day. Take a screenshot of this so you have these questions on your phone ready to go for you. So whenever you are planning out your day, you can begin to ask yourself important questions, not the questions of what would I like to get done or what do I need to get done in the sense of wanting to get something done. Because there's a difference between needing to accomplish a task and needing to accomplish a task. Do you know what I mean? Like you need to make that phone call. You need to schedule that appointment. You need to get this video done or you need to like there's priorities that you need to do but then there's also those needs that feel like needs but they're not needs so for example the laundry now yes you need to get your laundry done right especially if like you're out of undies and you you don't have any clean and you need to, <laughs> you need to get your laundry done obviously that's important and you will have days that that is your top priority you just need to focus on that but for most of us most of the time that's not the case we choose those easier tasks 
because again, we're procrastinating. And that's why I really like that magic wand question. So again, make sure you screenshot this and ask yourself these questions whenever you are setting your priorities for the day. Now, I wanna talk about this for just a second. Just because you picked three or five things, it doesn't mean you're only going to accomplish those and you're not gonna get anything else done. Actually, what's going to happen is you're going to start to get energy and motivation because you're getting those most important things done. You're getting those tasks that you've been procrastinating on or you've been putting on the back burner or whatever. You're getting those done and knocked out of the way. And that's gonna create the snowball effect of things building up and you becoming like a productivity machine, right? Where you're just knocking things out left and right. And you can do this on a consistent basis every single day, not just, you know how we all have like a couple of days each week where we're like, man, I wish I had more days like that because I just got so much done. You can start to do this more often because we're taking out that overwhelm. We're setting our priorities. We know what we need to focus on. We accomplish those tasks that are stressing us out. We get that stuff off our list. Then we can move on and we have more energy to do so. And like I said, doing that will help you accomplish more and you're gonna become more productive, which is, again, gonna create that snowball effect. As for how long it should take you, about 10 to 15 minutes, either each morning or each evening. Um, time really doesn't matter. When you start out, you might be a little bit slower. As you do this more, you're gonna get faster. But more importantly, the best time to priority plan is gonna be the best time that works for you. Not the best time that works for me or somebody else that you're watching a video about or a podcast you're listening to and they're like, you gotta do this in the mornings. Not necessarily. Um, this has to work for you. It has to be something that you can consistently do each and every single day. So you have to start thinking about your schedule, your life, what you have going on. You know, are your mornings chaotic and hectic? Um, are your evenings overwhelming and stressful and you've just got so many things going on in the evenings that you're trying to get done for the next day that maybe that's not a good time. You know, maybe in the mornings you're trying to get your kids ready for school. My child is definitely not this happy in the mornings. Um, he's a bear sometimes. <laughs> oh, that face that she just made, that's more like my child. You know, maybe you're getting them ready for school, getting them on the bus, uh, or you're trying to get yourself ready for work. You're packing lunches, you're trying to find socks. Or are your mornings a little bit more calm? And that is the best time for you is because you can actually sit down in the mornings, drink your coffee and plan your day. On the flip side, are your evenings more chill where you can get inside of your bed after maybe the kids go to bed or you're done with all your chores for the day and you sit down and you plan out tomorrow. So it really comes down to what's going to work best for you. Either way, if your mornings or your evenings are crazy, don't try to plan your day amongst the chaos. It's not going to help you whatsoever. When doesn't matter, you just got to be able to stick to it. That's that. Doesn't matter when, just need to stick to it. Now, do you choose three, five, three priorities or do you choose five or somewhere in between? My rule of thumb is figuring out how long each task is going to take me. For longer tasks, I will choose two to three priorities. For bite-sized tasks, I will choose up to five. But remember, what we're trying to avoid is that negative planning cycle. If you choose more than five priorities for the day, you're gonna start over planning. Again, that's gonna create that overwhelm, which causes you to be unproductive and take naps instead of actually getting things done, which then causes our to-do list to get longer and longer and longer, which sends you right back into being just as overwhelmed as you was when you started, right? So that's what we're trying to do is avoid this over planning cycle that we get into. And if, you know, choosing five priorities feels like a lot to you, you don't have to choose five. You can start out with three priorities or two for the day. Or if you know that maybe, maybe today you have a ton of errands to do, maybe you do just choose two priorities for the day and that's fine. You have to be able to gauge those things based on your day, based on like your work schedule or, um, maybe you have kids and they have games and different things like that going on. So think about, you know, your schedule, what you have going on, what your family has going on, and then how long each task is going to take you. Then from there, you can choose your priorities. So here, I'm going to walk you through me doing this, uh, going through this process. And so I'll walk you guys through it, show you how I planned out my day. I actually just did this this morning. What I have here is a daily page from the Happy Planner. Now you do not need this page. 
You can do this on a napkin if you want. You can put it on the notes app on your phone, a scrap piece of paper, um, in your planner, wherever you want to. It doesn't matter. So don't get hung up on that. You don't need the same things that I have. But what I started out with, again, step one, over here on the right side, I started to make a brain, uh, I started to brainstorm the things that I wanted to accomplish throughout the day. That was step one. So just writing everything down. And then I actually end up adding to this as the day goes. I did this this morning and sometimes not everything comes to you right then and that's totally okay. We can use this sheet from today to also help us uh, plan for tomorrow and set priorities for tomorrow if we need to. So if throughout the day more things pop up that you think of, that's totally fine. Go ahead and write them down. And then from there, I moved on to step two, which was to get picky, right? This is where you start to look at your brainstorm and kind of start deciding, okay, all of these tasks I have wrote down, which ones am I going to focus on today? Which, one are, which ones are going to be my priority? So looking through that, I started to notice what actually needs to get done today, like my top priorities, right? And then I chose those priorities. And what I did is I rewrote mine up here at the top left. Now for me, for this particular day, I chose a total of five. So I have three YouTube videos that I'm editing. I need to food prep and I'm going to work out. Technically, because the YouTube videos take such a long time, I should have only chose those three, but I did this intentionally today. I didn't over plan on purpose. I did this intentionally because while my son's at school, I can focus on those YouTube videos because I'm off work today. And then this evening I can food prep and do my workout. So I knew that this would work out well. I wasn't over planning to cause myself overwhelm or anything. I planned it this way intentionally, but seriously, don't overdo it. Don't over plan your day. I had already had this day kind of planned out knowing that Levi would be at school and then I could have the time to uh, work on my YouTube videos. Then I went back through and I highlighted my priorities on that brainstorm list on the right. Now the reason I did this was to break that list up a little bit because when you first start to look at that, it looks like a really long list and it can kind of be overwhelming. But where I highlighted it, I was able to break it up to where I could realize, okay, the highlighted things are my priorities. I already know that these are my focuses. Once I accomplish those, I can look at these other tasks later on in the day and see if I have time to get those things done. This box here that I'm writing in, this is where I wrote out the things that I need to do for um, this video here, actually this priority planning video. And I just made a list of the things I needed to do for that. And then the box below that is the things I need to do for the other two videos, which I've already filmed those videos. So the bulk of that's already done. I'm just going to do a voiceover for those just like I am here. But I went ahead and used that box to make a list of the things that I need to do for both of those videos as well. And like I said, as the day goes on, I will add things to this list um, of things that I would like to get done this evening. But my priorities are set. I know where my focus is. And I also, um, I didn't mention this earlier, but under that reminders part, I have grocery pickup at 10 a.m. So that's something that has to get done today, but it's not necessarily my priority. I'm not wasting a priority on grocery pickup, right? <laughs> so sometimes those kind of things will happen and that's okay. Just as a quick recap, step number one was to brain dump. This is where you're just gonna write everything down that you can think of that you wanna get done uh, for that day. Step number two was to get picky. This is where you start to look at your overall brain dump that you did and start to evaluate everything and figure out what are your most important tasks that you need to accomplish for the day, which then flips you over into step three, which is where you actually choose three to five priorities to focus on. Again, don't overwhelm yourself. Don't stress yourself out. Don't get into that negative planning cycle, which causes nothing but overwhelm and unproductivity. Set your priorities and then conquer your day and you'll start to see that snowball effect of you becoming a productivity master. Seriously, you got this. Go set your priorities and go crush your day. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.